Hi class, Adobe took away one of my favorite features called AP Divs. And with AP Divs, you used to have the ability to draw layers that were placed in the absolute position where you drew them. So that was very nice for designers, but they've decided to take that feature away. But I'm going to show you how you can still complete your project and still work largely in the interface to set up all the properties for your individual divisions. Okay, let's get started. This is the Red Envelope Experiment Project. And if I fast forward and I go past all this other business to step six, I believe, putting it all together, I have a diagram that will show you how to nest your divisions. So at the top, I have this LYR header. All that is is it's a division. It's a large division that goes around this entire area. And I have ID'd it LYR header. I've just given the division an ID of LYR header. And within that division, I'm going to nest another division called LYR logo. And within that same division, I'm going to nest an LYR header nav and an LYR quick nav division. So I'll have one large division with three nested divisions within it. So let's start. Let's take care of it. I'm going to go over to Dreamweaver and find my insert panel. And on my insert panel I have a div under common. A div. So I'm going to insert a div. Yes, I want to insert it at the insertion point. And we'll call this first one LYR header. And we always want to work from the outside in. So in other words, the outside most container is called layer header, and we're going to nest three div containers within it. Click OK, and we see, great, that there's a division added there. Let's delete the text that's within that division. And let's switch over to code view, because I want to show you that I'm going to enter a couple of times so that I can wrap this division around the divisions that I insert inside of it. So click the div button again, and this time the ID is going to be one of the nested divisions such as LYR logo. So LYR logo. You have to be very careful when you set these up so that they'll work correctly with this tutorial that you're provided with. I hit OK, and since the text inside of the division is selected, I just delete it. I go to the end of that line and press Enter. Click another division. This time we're looking for LYR Quick Nav. LYR Quick Nav. LYR Quick Nav. Okay, get it? We're just adding divisions inside of this larger division called layer header. One more. LYR header nav. Div. LYR header nav. And delete the text. So that's all I have here now. I have this division that opens on line 9 and it closes on line 13. Now, just for my own sanity, sometimes I like to add a comment and LYR header, because once you add a lot of these divisions onto a page, it can start to get confusing very quickly, and you wonder, oh wow, did I delete a division closing tag, or did I even add it in the first place? It's very easy to mess your page up. Sometimes I like to put comments out there to let me know that this is the end of an area. Okay, next, let's go into Design View and click, double click on this insert. If I double click on the, any of these tabs, that tab will collapse. And look at what I have here, CSS Designer. I click it, it opens up the Designer, CSS Designer panel. Next to Sources, click the plus and tell Dreamweaver that you would like to define your CSS in this page, also known as embedded cascading style sheet code. Remember that? 
Make sure style is selected. Drop down to selectors and hit plus. And Dreamweaver puts something in there that it thinks you might want and you just backspace over it and delete it and type pound. And lo and behold, you get a list of all of the things that you have ID'd in your page when I type the pound sign. Here's the first one that I'm going to work on, layer header. So select it and press enter. Once I do that, I've now established LIR header, or the ID called layer header, for that large division on the outside. And I see all the properties for it in the area below, in the properties area. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the tutorial and go to step eight. And this is where you can set all of the properties for each one of your divisions. Okay, now one thing, it, like I said, you have to be careful of if you did not name your IDs correctly, you're gonna have problems because these are the names of your IDs in here that you're using as selectors and if they don't match, you're going to have a problem. Okay, let's start with the first one. Layer header. We're going to set the absolute position property. So we're going to find position absolute in this CSS panel with layer header being used as the selector. So let's scroll down and I'm going to find this area called position. I just click to the right and I get a drop down and I choose absolute. Next thing, the left property, <clears throat> we set it at 18 pixels and top 13. Oh, I lost, I lost my selection, so I'm going to click on style again and header. And I'm going to go back down to where position absolute was set. I think it said left 18. Let's see top 13 top 13 so I just type it and I hit enter okay let's set the width 750 that's all the way at the top width and I need to double click on the width 750 and px for pixels hit enter height 103 Double click, Oop. double click, I don't always get it the first time, 103 pixels, I need to set the Z index, the Z index is like a stacking order, think about it like this, you're going to have what Dreamweaver used to call layers, they're really absolutely positioned divisions, but one absolutely positioned division can be on top of another. Think about a stack of papers. You have a stacking order. One is on top of the other is on top of the other. Z index three means it's the third thing in the stack. The higher the number, the closer it is to you in the stack. Okay? So Z index three. So we have to go find that. And it's under this position area. Z index. Double click. Set it as the third thing in the stack. Oop, I guess I didn't click right. And visibility, we want to make this AP division visible. Now, you can start to see as you change the CSS properties that these divisions will start to take shape. You can now see the one that I'm moving over. It turns red when I move over it, indicating it's ready for me to select it if I want to. And when I do, we can see that it has gotten larger. We've just defined its width and height, the fact that it's visible, and that it's the third thing in the stacking order. Okay, and we continue this trend. Let's do one more, and then I'll let you go for it yourself. Layer header nav. Let's find that. Layer header nav. Selectors, I just click on selectors, and I type pound. And there it is, layer header nav. Hit enter. I get a list of properties. I go back and I realize 
if I want to position it absolutely. So I scroll down, find position, absolute, and then I'm going to set where it's going to be from the left and from the top. Zero from the left, 78 from the top. Zero from the left, 78 from the top. The width, 750 pixels. That's all the way at the top, 750 pixels. Mess that up, 750 pixels. Height, 25 pixels. 25 pixels. Z index, 0. Z index. Okay, visibility, visible, border, top, width, one pixel, border, Let's see if we can find that, where is it, border, oh look, there's a new button, border, top, width, zero, pixels, oh, one pixel, one pixel. Look, now it's starting to take shape. I've got a border on it. Border top style, solid. Border top style, solid. Okay, and the last one that I'm going to set is this color. So here's what I can do. Grab this text and copy it. Because I don't even know what color that is. That's why we're going to co copy it. Uh, border top color. Border. We have to find that. I'm not really even sure what that is. Border. Top color. Boom. There we go. And this is what your page should start to look like. So you're going to set the properties for each individual division you're going to absolutely position it where you want it to be and change all of the other properties accordingly this is a great opportunity for you to start really working in the Dreamweaver interface more as a designer and less as a coder okay hope that helps